but I definitely remember listening over and over again to Jeremiah was a bullfrog. And so we are going, we've changed the words slightly to show some of the, here we go. Yeah. You got the music? I hope so. Jeremiah was a prophet, a reluctant friend of God. That's right. If people never listen to a word he said, because he told them they would soon be dead. Yeah, he told them they would soon be dead. Woe to the world, woe to Babylonian captivity, woe to you I see. Yahweh is the king of the world, he loves his people too. He told them to give up their rights that they love and to make things right and true. Woe to the world, woe. Never Babylonian captivity. Who do you I see? That's right, Yahweh's the king, all in the snow. He spent time in the cistern. He spent time in the gloom. Is a bad news crier and a pain provider, a straight shoot prophet, a Jew man. He was a straight shoot prophet, a Jew. Oh yeah. Woe to the world. Sing with me. Woe to the world. Devil Babylonian captivity. Woe to you, I see. Woe to the world. Come on. Woe to the world Rebel Babylonian captivity Woe to you I see Get it up now Woe to the world Woe to the world Woe to the world Woe So guess who's guess who uh whose voice that was? Oh. <laughs> Who else would I get get to do that for me? <laughs> oh, go ahead. So as we look at Jeremiah and the call of Jeremiah, we want to start with that because I think it's important. The words, the words shared, um, I think, resonate with us all. The word of Yahweh was addressed to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah said, Lord Yahweh, look, I do not know how to speak. I am a child. But Yahweh said, do not say I am a child. Go now to those to, to whom I send you and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to protect you. It is Yahweh who speaks. I am putting my words into your mouth. That's I'll let you come up.
There you go. Well, how's everybody doing tonight? I'll let you know when I wake up. How many of you have a relationship with God? A true relationship with God. Ah. But you know that Jeremiah had a great relationship with God, even though he complained a lot. We also know that Jeremiah is known as the weeping prophet. And he's also known as the prophet who's old, as the Jesus of the Old Testament. But there's part of it that yeah, maybe people don't understand is when Jeremiah was crying, he was weeping for the people, correct? Yes. Okay. But there was something else that we don't understand. At least I didn't come across it until I started reading. One of the things is Jeremiah stuttered. That's why he couldn't speak like he wanted to speak. He had a speech problem. And then when the Lord said, There, I put my words in your mouth. Look, today I have set you above the nations and the kingdoms to uproot and to knock down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. Then he tells him, as for you, prepare yourself for action. How many of you are prepared for action? Always. No matter what comes at you? Always. <laughs> Stand up and tell them. Please do. <laughs> I all, all I command you. He's telling Jeremiah all this. He's telling him, stand up and tell them what I'm telling you. And don't be afraid of them. And in their presence, I will make you fearless. But there was something else as I was reading Jeremiah. And I've read Jeremiah I don't know how many times, and it's, each time it's different. But this time completely different. What I saw was Jeremiah was God's counselor. Or his sounding board. God was hurting. He told his people, he told Jeremiah that he didn't want to have to divorce Israel and Judea the two sisters whom he looked to as part of his bride. He was hurting inside and it grieved him to have to do this. Now I'm going to ask a number of questions and each one of you can answer it out loud or you can do it on your own. And within yourself is, the first question is, does anybody care about how God feels. When we pray, when we pray, what's our prayer like? How do we talk with him? Are we willing to listen to how he feels? Do we ask him, hey, Lord, may you be blessed this day. May you have a great day and may your children give you laughter and joy. But God is hurting. He's hurting for his people. Even today, he's hurting for his people. And here in the third chapter, you go to 9 through 12, you can hear, if you, when you read it, listen inside, you can hear the words inside when God's saying, in the time of Josiah, Yahweh said to Jeremiah, have you seen what disloyal Israel has done? How she has made her way up every high hill and to every green tree and played the whore there. The idols she did with. 